joining and uh, good so it is also informing everyone that all right uh, so we'll just uh, get started so welcome for those of you who've joined this uh, it's a short program to basically announce some ambitious initiative that we have been working at and uh, to start with i would like to request uh, professor ranjan bose director of triple it delhi to to welcome us all and give his thoughts ranjan over to you please thank you pankaj uh, good afternoon everybody it's a pleasure to see all of you here so let me formally welcome you to the launch of the certificate program in cs education as all of you know this is a unique program it's geared towards improving the teaching abilities and also capabilities of the faculty members of various engineering colleges across the country i'm sure it is going to create a significant impact through what i see a multiplier effect so as teachers we know that the delivery of education in local engineering colleges especially computer science education has a has a fair amount of scope for improvement of course this is mainly due to the lack of trained teachers and also lack of uh, the necessary computing facilities to some extent this brings us to the very important question of the efficacy of teachers and also the efficacy of teaching it is not surprising that data shows that teachers efficacy can be as influential as their actual level of knowledge and abilities i was reading uh, some studies have also shown that the self efficacy is an important parameter for teachers professional development as well because it can predict both teaching behavior as well as uh, student outcome so this certificate program uh, is likely to address some of these issues primarily the efficacy of cs teachers in this country this program as you will find out is highly highly collaborative it involves over 30 leading domain experts from across the country from all the top universities and institutes triple itd is primarily playing a facilitation role uh triple itd is helping coordinate this uh, wonderful program by empowering the steering committee uh, overheads are being waived up at the institute for the pilot um, so so triple itd is actually doing facilitation for this program finally what do we want uh, we want teachers in the classrooms to be effective we want teachers who not only teach well but also inspire so i'm sure this certificate program is an important step in that direction as i mentioned earlier i see this certificate program in cs education as an important initiative that is likely to create a significant impact through a multiplier effect i'm sure the initiative will evolve and grow with time so i wish the program all the very best thank you over to you pankaj hey thanks thanks ranjan for uh, you already captured the essence of it the, uh, the the main thing is to 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 make the teachers more effective and cs is in particular cs education needs upgradation even if things were all okay which they weren't as you mentioned today in the last 5 10 years things have changed so much that cs education needs upgradation and faculty needs help for it except this uh, except faculty in our top institutions who are able to upgrade themselves because of their research capabilities faculty across need help so help and support so that's what this program is is, is aims to provide to do now there has been quality improvement faculty development programs for over a long long time ever since i was a faculty i've seen that uh, but unfortunately they were always constrained because of time people have to uh, leave their job to go to iit or wherever they are doing it usually short duration one subject i will do my subject and then we'll do is etc right so so those uh, given the times that's what you can do this program is ambitious and unique in a few ways let me just point out a few things why uh, why this program could be uh, could be different from all the excellent efforts in the past first of all the program aims to cover entire cs 
So it is not about me trying to do a faculty improvement program for one subject, my subject, and uh, Madhavan doing for his and Ranjan doing for his. It's, it takes a few computer science. We're starting with 10 basic core courses, but there is no need, of course, it, it will expand should, uh, you know, if there is traction. So that's first thing. Uh, so we're taking a comprehensive view and for each course, I think taking from what Ranjan said, the modules for teachers is not databases or data structures. It is effective teaching of databases, effective teaching of data structures, et cetera, et cetera. So we are focusing very clearly on effective teaching. There are no students in this course in the sense of you know, regular students. The attendees would be faculty only. So it is aimed squarely by experts to faculty on how they can improve. Uh, number two, it's online. I think that is, you know, that, that the familiarity with online is a great opportunity. Uh, a, it allows us to reach out to the entire country. B, it allows us to source experts from entire country, which is what we've done. So online and most important, it does not require teachers to leave, take leave from their parent institution to go. All it requires is parent institution to fuse them for a few hours. Each module is expected to be about five hours of work every day. That's all they require. So they can be, they can contribute to this, uh, their colleges and universities and don't have to be. So I think that's a, that can potentially be, be, be great. It's spread over a semester. Again, if it's online, not physical, we spread it over a semester. We all know that compressed short time learning, there are challenges. There's only so much you can absorb. There's only so much you can learn. So this is spread over a semester, something we know very well. We know how to teach over a semester and ensure that people learn. We've been doing it for years. So that's, that's, a, that's a great thing. And finally, we will be using the revised AICT curriculum as the base on what to teach, that would be the base. And this happened sort of fortuitously. Uh, uh, AICT appointed me as chair of their curriculum revision. And therefore I requested all these experts who were there, can you please also design the course? And now we have a very fortunate situation. Experts who are designing this, these courses for colleges are also going to be doing the teacher's training. That's, that is just, just a, a great thing. Okay, so let's just have a couple of more points and then I'll be done. So such an ambitious effort, actually no one institution can do. Leave aside a few people. We just don't have the bandwidth. It necessarily must be, uh, must be an effort across institutions. And that's what we've done. So, so I, would, I would like to at this point say, on, I would say not just on behalf of our committee and all that, but just an entire CS community and, and the ecosystem. I really would like to, to, to thank our steering committee members. If you go to the, to the page, you'll see steering committee members. All of them readily accepted to join. All of them we've been discussing once, you know, very frequently. All of them gave time. Many of them are directors were directors or deputy directors, etc. You can't get better set of computer science series, senior people to drive this initiative. And I would also like to say, you know, absolutely steering committee can steer, but at the end we have experts who are delivering it for each course. We have two, three, four, five experts. And you'll see that these are experts from all institutions, from all the top institutions. And of course, without them, you can't, can't do, do anything. And so I, I really, I want to take this opportunity to, to, to thank them also. So I think we've, we've been at it for almost nine months a year. So we have now designed it, we are ready to launch it. And now it is really up to colleges and, uh, and, and teachers to take benefit from it. We are trying to put our best onto it. And, and hopefully, you know, the industry will, will also nudge. So with this, this is the end of my few minutes. Uh, introduction about the program. Please go to the website. Somebody please type it in. Uh, the website csedu.itd.ac.in. You'll see the experts involved and you'll see um, the steering committee and the governance structure that we want. Uh, somebody please type that in, in, in the chat box. So it's now my pleasure to invite heads of three main stakeholders 
that for are involved with such an initiative in some sense, right? The head of the technical education, AICT chairman. So that's that represents technical education in the country. ACM represents the profession of teachers. So we have the ACM president professor who represents, as I said, the teachers. And uh, we have NASCOM's president. She represents, I think, the IT industry who, where our students are supposed to go and take jobs. So I've been very fortunate. All three of them kindly agreed to, to, to share their, their thoughts in it. Now, I don't know, is uh, Sas Buddhaji, are you there? Okay, what I'll do is we'll start with Jen and I will meanwhile try to call Sas Buddhay and see if he is able to join. Okay, he had, uh, he had agreed, he was very kind to agree. So Jayant, over to you, please share your thoughts about this program. Yeah, sure. Uh, so thank you, Professor Jolete, for the kind introduction and good afternoon to all of you. So at the outset, on behalf of ACM India, I would like to extend my very warm congratulations to the CS Edu organizers led by Professor Pankaj Jalote, who is a legend in Indian computing education, for setting up this important pedagogical initiative, which can be referred to as T3, that is train the teachers. Now, education and research are also core activities of ACM. In fact, it is carved into the very first line of its charter, where ACM describes itself as a scientific and educational organization. Therefore, the CS Edu initiative is very well aligned with our own objectives. Gratifyingly, CS Edu also fits in well with the new educational policy, which was recently announced by the government of India, where creativity and innovation are emphasized as opposed to the traditional rote learning. And it is a matter of pride for us that several ACM India members have played a key role in the formulation of this new policy. I'm delighted to see that CS Edu, as Pankaj already mentioned, features a very impressive slate of trainers representing the very best of Indian academia with wide ranging national and international experience. This quality participation bodes very well for its effectiveness and impact. Moreover, apart from Professor Jolote himself, other ACM India counselors including Professor Viraj Kumar and Professor Venkatesh Raman are also on, on the slate as also several ACM India members. So you can see that our commitment to quality education is not mere lip service, but actual engagement in the trenches. I can assure the participating teachers that although you may be deeply aware of the technical concepts themselves, CS Edu will be an eye-opening exercise where you experience at first hand the innovative mechanisms through which these concepts can be communicated in a lasting manner to students. This is especially important in the current virtual teaching mode. And even when we get back to uh, a physical classroom. So for instance, you may find that computer science concepts are effectively imbibed through analogies sourced from contemporary politics entertainment and sports. That is when cast in metaphors to which the students can relate. So in our country, that would be Bollywood and cricket. And as an exemplar, there is an abstract concept in computational geometry called the Minkowski sum, which computes the dilation of vector sets. And incidentally, the Minkowski here refers to the famous Russian German mathematician who was also a teacher of Einstein. Now, often students find it difficult to understand the Minkowski sum, but one effective way to communicate it to them is to relate it to cricket, where a fielder can catch the ball outside the boundary as long as his feet are within the line. So you can lean outside the boundary and catch the ball as long as the rest of your body is within the boundary line. <laughs> that essentially captures the Minkowski sum. <laughs> Similarly, you can teach statistics via analysis of election polling and results. ACM India is very happy to be associated with the CS Edu initiative. And I would like to use this platform to formally announce that we will be reimbursing half the fees for all participants who are registered 
prior to March 31st, 2022. We hope that this guaranteed support would help to maximize the participation and set the ball rolling for creating a popular program with a large footprint. Great, great. Thank you. Thank you, ACM India. Thank you. I would also like to use this forum to highlight that at ACM India, we have also recently started a complementary program called Expert Teacher Program or ETP, wherein domain experts will directly work in the classroom with the teachers, including delivering, delivering lectures to the students. So in computer architecture terms, CS Edu is like scale out and the ETP program is like scale up. We encourage all the college administrators and the faculty to take advantage from both these programs. They each have their own roles and I'm sure that you'll have tremendous benefits from them and thereby maximize the pedagogical benefits to your students. So in closing, I would like to again warmly congratulate CS Edu for jumpstarting this extremely welcome initiative to provide high quality upgradation of teaching effectiveness. Best wishes and eagerly look forward to your success, which will transform the next generation of students. From our side, I can assure you of all help from ACM India in supporting your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Jayant. Thank you. It's very heartening. Great, great program for supporting. I mean, what more can we ask? And of course, we know ACM India is always behind this. So very, very nice, thank you. Uh, Professor Sahasbudde has joined. So I would now like to request Professor Sahasbudde, as I said, he represents the technical education of the country in that sense. So please Sahasbudde, and he knows about the program. So uh, Sahasbudde ji will, will share his thoughts. Sahasbudde? Yeah, thank you, Pankaj. Uh, it was very invigorating to interact with all of you when we started this dialogue. I remember with Professor Ranade, a couple of years back, we had an ACM conference, uh, and then we started this dialogue, but it took a long time to come to this level of uh, preparing a course, which is so important. And listening to, you know, Jayant, you know, so beautifully he was explaining, you know, Minkowski, some, as well as cricket, you know, combining it. I'm going one step ahead, and you can jump, be on the line or beyond the line also, catch and come back, you know, we don't know, you know. <laughs> If that is also possible, possibly you will still be catching a wicket, actually. So I think there are very interesting uh, theorems as well as uh, the way teaching can be done effectively. And this is what was missing for our teachers in engineering colleges. Uh, you know, faculty from IITs and NITs uh, with the background that they have with their degrees from different good institutions, they are in a position to do that. But when it comes to 3,200 odd colleges. In fact, there is no college uh, in the country which does not have computer science as one of the subjects. They may not have civil engineering, they may not have electrical, they may not have maybe chemical engineering or metallurgy, but there is no college which will not have a computer science program. And also a program, many institutions have in information technology as well, and both are akin. And therefore, uh, uh, training faculty is very, very significant and important. This teacher certification we have taken it very seriously. I would like to also mention about uh, eight module faculty certification program, which we have introduced uh, more than uh, two and a half years ago. Uh, we all know that this is a very important aspect that it's not just pedagogy, but teaching learning aspects. How do you interact with students? How do you encourage them? How do you motivate them? I think these are small factors, but these nuances, unless a teacher understands, they will not be able to do well. And uh, these eight module certification program and this program, which is uh, for teaching of computer science, any language for that matter is going to be important. And once we deliver this and see the success of this, this can be extended to any other course as well. Uh, these are basics, you know, fundamentals. And these fundamentals are most important. And I, I am seeing who's who of uh, computer science domain here, right from Deepak Fatak, Balakrishnan, Vijendra Jain, uh, Narayanan. I, I think everyone, you know, you have created this. There is no doubt that this would add great value to all the AICT approved institutions in teaching of computer language as such. And then in any higher level course, this is a beginner. You know, this is a primer. And through this primer, we will go ahead to do even higher and higher ones. Devjani, I think uh, NASCOM is on board, ACM is on board, yes, it is on board. I think there is nothing other than success which we can achieve out of this. Thank you very much.
So, so Sarsbudeji, would it be okay for me to share that you, AICT, would be exploring uh, the, uh, to give uh, faculty the credits for this? Would you like to just yeah, share? Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot to mention that, uh, uh, see, for all the NPTEL advanced courses which faculty do, we have a system of recognizing them as equivalent to what we call as faculty development program of one week, two week duration. So this course is also something which is very important and significant for teaching of a language. And therefore, a faculty who does this course will also get the credit of having done a faculty development program of, I, I'm not sure our uh, bureau is working, whether it should be treated equivalent to whatever two credit course and therefore equivalent to two weeks of faculty development program. And once it is done, uh, the mandatory six weeks of faculty development program that they have to attend for career advancement scheme promotion from assistant to associate professor and associate to professor's position, this will become one of those ingredients. I think that's what we are working at and uh, all the teachers who are there, uh, they must be rest assured that it is, it is for the good of everyone. Actually, it is in the interest of students we are doing it. You will get promotion, but finally, our students have to become employable. They should become entrepreneurial. They should become better. You know, that is the motive with which we are doing all, all of this. Absolutely. Thank you very much. You can see, you know, just, just last week I contacted him and immediately he responded, no, we will look at it. We have a formula. We'll apply the formula. So I, I, I think this is just, 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 just goes on to show, show you know, how AICT and of course uh, ACM. And now last, as I said, the third pillar. So we've, we've looked at professional body, we've looked at education body. Now we're looking at the industry body, where as uh, Sasbudeji mentioned, where our students are likely to go or create some industries, both. So over to Devjani to please share her thoughts. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Pankaj and team. And first of all, my congratulations. I think what you're doing here is finally addressing the missing link, which has continued to haunt all of us when we talked about upgrading the uh, computer science curriculum. While there's a lot of work that has been done um, in, in terms of improving the curriculum, what we haven't paid attention to, or at least enough attention to, is training the faculty on how to deliver, or at least how to change their mindset and deliver to these some you know, changing expectations of, of the industry or what you call employability. And I'm just thrilled, Pankaj, from the first day I heard about this. I'm, I'm seriously thrilled by what this means because I do believe that the problem we are grappling today is frankly much more of a mindset than anything else. And if we can get the teachers to understand the changes and what's changing and change, the way they teach and therefore impact how students learn. Uh, this will be uh, one of the biggest things that honestly you can do for students, for employability, and of course, for the industry. Um, you know, I keep, I, I talk about this changing mindset. Um, let me summarize what I mean by what is changing. I mean, what as industry what are the changes that we are expecting? I mean, today, we uh, we just, by the way, uh, just two or three days back, we released a very exhausting survey of companies, industry, tech companies, product services across to talk about some of these changes in hiring and expectations. Today, when they want an engineer, an employable engineer, they're looking at someone who is a bilingual one, as an un bilingual means understanding, strong understanding of tech and ability to apply that knowledge to solve problems across whatever sector that person has to work in. So ability to transfer the tech knowledge to domain application is, is sort of an absolutely critical required skill today. You know, and that's where the whole bilingual concept is coming in because just being proficient in the technology foundation or technology skills is not enough. The biggest expectation from industry is a problem solving mindset where you can take your technology knowledge and apply it to whichever domain you're put to work on, be it health, be it education, be it finance, and you're able to solve problems. 
Um, the second expectation today, more than anything else, again, is collaboration, a collaborative mindset knows how to work with others, knows how to work cross-functional. So therefore the whole multidisciplinary approach we've been talking about becomes important from that perspective. And the third big expectation, which is, which is a growing expectation today, is that the engineers have to have an inclusive lens that they apply to their problem solving. When they are solving a particular problem, they should be able to think about inclusivity at design rather than as an afterthought, because companies are realizing that is an absolute necessary going forward. Right? So it's very important to see how the expectations are changing. And I think this is where our concept of computer science, which to me is the foundation um, in a, to, to, to one of the most important partnerships of our times, and that's the partnership between human and machine. I think that's, that's where the computer science course really uh, kicks in for me because it's about building the, the aptitude as well as the attitude so that we can interact with technology, we can interact with machine tools to solve some of the biggest problems or the problems that we have to work on for all. I think that to me is the biggest expectation or evolution that course has to go through. Um, I mean, I don't think I need to say anymore that it's, it's no more about programming, but unfortunately a lot of our institutes and especially faculty is still stuck in that mindset. And how do we move that mindset? So it's about understanding how programming is a tool to solve problems, how it's, it's the, the understanding of the science behind these tools, you know, how they are built and how do you apply it to whatever sector you are asked to work on. So, you know, it, it's, it's wonderful to see how the, the expectations from computer science is evolving, how industry is looking at it, how industry is looking at the definition of an employable engineer, and I think the piece that you're now bringing in um, about effective training so that you are able to embrace some of these changes and build in some of these changes into how you, it is what's going to com complete the link. It's, you know, as I said, that was the biggest missing link. I am thrilled that AICT is looking at, um, you know, exploring the possibility of ensuring that teachers can get credit because I absolutely believe that will be critical to drive success. And I'm also thrilled that Mr. Jayan talked about, um, you know, as giving financial incentives to do this. Um, as industry bankage, let us know, what can we do from our side to push? I think the one thing I'll put on the table is, while you've got a expert, uh, I mean, a brilliant panel of experts, I went through your website, I looked up the names. I think you have an absolutely brilliant panel of experts for teaching the faculty. Um, most are from academia. If you want to build in an industry connect as part of the course where the teachers can also sit down with industry and understand their point of view, I'll be more than happy to work with you to get that done uh, with good volunteers from our industry. So once again, congratulations, thrill, thrill, thrill to see this happening and uh, wish you every possible success. Thank you. Thank you, Gurjani, very much. Thanks for all these words. I hope, I hope our experts uh, for different groups are, are listening to, to these changes from expectations from the industry because, after all, we are targeting curriculum and then teaching the trainers for how to deliver that curriculum so students can get employed. So I hope our experts are doing that. And Gurjani, just to tell you, while teaching the teachers, because that portion we've left it largely to teachers themselves. The AICT curriculum, there is a separate committee which is doing AICT curriculum. In fact, Sandhya has helped me a lot. We have about half a dozen right, experts from all the top, uh, top uh, industries in that, right? So the steering committee there, I've made sure that there is a good representation from industry. Okay, so great, thank you very much. I request everyone to spend another five, 10 minutes to just uh, share. Let me now introduce our steering committee and request them to introduce our team. So I will take this opportunity to share my screen and then, then request our 
uh, my colleagues, uh, my friends, now all, they're all friends and colleagues to, to uh, do that. Okay, so first, just to, for me to share, um, this is our steering committee, um, which as you can see, um, so um, uh, we have, okay, therefore now we have, um, so as I said, all very senior people, have been directors, deputy directors, what have you, uh, Jain Jain, Deepak Patak, PPC, Maninder Garwal, PJ Narayan, and Timothy, Madhavan, Balak, Bala, Viraj, everybody, all very, very distinguished. So now let me ask them to introduce our expert group. So I will start with Viraj. Viraj, can you please introduce your team very quickly, uh, the team for programming in Python? Sure, I hope I'm clearly audible. Yes, you are. Team uh, includes, of course, Professor Pankaj Jalote, who's been mentoring us. Um, in addition, we have uh, Professor Vikram Goyal, who is um, the head of the Department of CSE at uh, IIIT Delhi. Uh, I don't know if Vikram has joined the call, but I know Professor Ame Karkare is on the call. Uh, he is an associate professor um, in CSE. We are losing you. Please stay close to the mic. Sorry. Um, uh, so, Professor Ame Karkare is uh, an associate professor uh, of uh, computer science at uh, um, and uh, all of us, all four of us have been working. I've also represent uh, uh, KCM India's education committee uh, here in this, um, in this group. Uh, and I've been teaching um, introductory programming at IISA Bangalore. So that's the team. Great. Thanks. Uh, so, uh, so next I will request Madhuan. So these are, uh, Viraj is a member of the steering committee. Madhuan has been a, is a member of steering committee. And since PP Chakravarti and... Uh, Manind Garwal could not be there. I'm requesting Madhuan to introduce the team for data structures, which is same as team for algorithms, as well as team for discrete map. Madhuan, over to you. Thanks, Pankaj. So, uh, so the team for data structures and algorithms are two separate courses, but the same group of people uh, who are involved, all of whom have a lot of experience, of course, in teaching uh, these subjects. So we have uh, Manindra Agarwal and myself have been coordinating initially and the team which has been put together to actually deliver the content and also in parallel as Pankaj says to review the curriculum for AICT. So we have uh, Naveen Garg and Amit Kumar from IIT Delhi who are both very seasoned and senior faculty members in computer science there and Venkatesh Raman from the Institute of Mathematical Sciences who has been a pillar of Indian research and data structures and algorithms for the last 20, 30 years. So this team, as I said, is for both data structures and algorithms, analysis of algorithms, two separate courses. And discrete math, which uh, I am not directly involved in, but uh, just to introduce the team. So Nitin Saxena, who uh, is one of the people who proved the primality result and is now an established researcher in his own right at IIT Kanpur, is leading the team and we have a very senior and distinguished pillar of Indian theoretical computer science, Somnath Biswas, was for many years in IIT Kanpur, now at IIT Goa. We have my colleague from CMI, Partha Mukhopadhyay, and Bhavani Sinha from ISI Kolkata. So as you can see, these are all people with years and years of experience in teaching and a lot of research experience as well. And I hope this will get communicated in the way that the material goes out to the teachers. Back to you, Pankaj. Okay, great. Thanks. So I would now request my friend uh, Bala Krishnan. As I said, all 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 of us know each other for a long, long time. So friend and colleague Bala Krishnan uh, to introduce the team for computer architecture and organization. I think one or two new people he just yeah. this, but go ahead, Bala. Yeah, we have a wonderful team. We have very experienced uh, professors. So we have Janjos from uh, IIT Guwahati, Vishwanandan Panda from IIT Bombay. And Professor Anupam Basu, who is presently director at IIT Durgapur, but he's from IIT Kharagpur. We also have two more editions, which are you know, just late editions, uh, Professor Indranil Sen Gupta from IIT Kharagpur and Professor Anshul Kumar from IIT Delhi. So it's a very experienced team, and uh, I'm sure we'll be able to deliver something which is will be very useful to the community. Okay, great. Uh, Timothy, can you please, uh, so Timothy Gonzalez, uh, people would know him, IIT Mandi, IIT Madras, as the thing says. Please, Timothy, can you introduce your team? Yeah. Uh, for, in computer networks, we have a team of people, all of whom are very passionate at teaching and very good with a lot of experience. Uh, Professor B.N. Jain is uh, uh, 
uh, emeritus from IIT uh, Delhi. Uh, he's been vice chancellor at Bits Pilani, and he's uh, also a distinguished professor at IIIT Delhi. Uh, Vinay Ribeiro, uh, 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 Professor Jane had got his PhD from SUNY uh, Stony Brook. Uh, Vinay Ribeiro had uh, graduated with a PhD from Rice University. He's now in, uh, at uh, IIT Bangalore. Um, uh, uh, Sri Lakshmi Manjanath is a PhD from uh, IIT uh, Madras. She's currently at uh, IIT Mandi. <clears throat> uh, Maithili Vatukuru is a PhD from MIT. She's at uh, IIT Bombay. As you can see, our team has a mix uh, uh, from the very young to the very old, so which is good in a changing field like networks to bring in the newest perspectives. So which, which are the two categories you are in, Timothy? <laughs> I, <leave that laughs> I hope it's in the very young category. Leave that as an exercise for the students. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, next I will request B and Jan to introduce our young colleagues in the operating system. Um, uh, so B and Jan is our, uh, of course, uh, as he mentioned, um, IIT Delhi, IIT, Triple IIT Delhi Vice Chancellor from uh, Bits Pilani. Uh, over to you, Vijay. Thanks, Pankaj. So for operating system, we have a team of three experts, but you can well expect many more to join this team in the coming weeks and months. Uh, the first uh, individual who's leading this team is Professor Purushottam Kulkarni. He is Professor of Computer Science at IIT Delhi. He received his PhD degree in Computer Science from the University of Massachusetts at Amherst. And his area of interest is, of course, operating systems, but within operating systems, virtualization and cloud computing. The second member is a younger person, uh, Dr. Devadatta Mishra. He's an assistant professor in computer science at IIT Kanpur. He did his PhD from IIT Bombay, and he loves building stuff, hands-on, which is to say that he loves building the network stack as well as the complete paraphernalia that goes into putting together an operating system. The third member of this team is Chester Ribeiro. He's an associate professor of computer science at IIT Madras. He received his PhD from IIT Kharagpur, and he has had an opportunity to be a postdoc at Columbia University of New York. He works in operating system security and other aspects of security. So that's the team. Currently, there are only three members, but in the coming weeks and months, you can expect many more to join, not only in putting together the new curriculum for AICTE, but also teaching the uh, program, the module in operating systems. Thanks, Pankaj. Thanks. Uh, so now I request uh, the, Dr. Patak. So Deepak Patak is, is perhaps the, one of our most senior and most distinguished and most well-known person. Uh, everybody uh, knows him, I think. Uh, I don't know of anybody who doesn't know him. So I'll request him to please introduce, and he's an old timer in databases. So I, ah, there you go. So I'll request him to please introduce the database team. Uh, thank you, Pankaj. Uh, actually, the time is short, so I won't be able to tell you their names and affiliations, but I urge all of you uh, to uh, read more about them from their own uh, websites. Uh, so the group is being coordinated by Arnab. Uh, Professor Arnab uh, Bhattacharya is at IIT Kanpur currently, and is an expert in databases. We also have Professor P. Srinivas Kumar, who is a professor at IIT Madras, and another well-known person in the in the field of databases. The youngest member of our group is Professor Vikram Goel, uh, who comes from the host institution. Uh, triple IT Delhi. And the fourth member is my own colleague and technically my boss's boss because he's our deputy director, uh, Professor S. Sudarshan. Uh, suffice it to say that uh, he, his book is one of the uh, often used book in, on databases. And he has actually conducted a faculty development program uh, to train 6,000 teachers in databases, uh, confirming my uh, uh, my uh, opinion that a mixed mode of online and face-to-face -face teaching learning is probably the best. I am very sure that these four people will do a wonderful job of training teachers on how to teach databases. Thank you. Great. 
And the last, uh, may I request uh, uh, P.J. Narayanan to please uh, introduce uh, the machine learning team. And machine learning, of course, everyone knows is, is the flavor of the day. <laughs> so we have a large team. Yeah. yeah. So thanks, Pankaj. So we have a large team, uh, apart from me, who do computer vision. My uh, colleague, uh, uh, Professor Jawahar, is leading this effort on machine learning. He's a leading computer vision and machine learning researcher. But uh, there's a strong team from representing all kinds of institutions. Vineet Balasubramanian is a computer vision researcher from IIT Hyderabad. Uh, Professor Prabir Bishwas, again a computer vision person from IIT Kharagpur. Mitesh Kapra is from IIT Madras. He's a natural language processing person. Piyush Rai is a core machine learning uh, person who is a faculty member at uh, IIT Kanpur. Preeti Jyoti is a speech processing person from IIT Bombay. And Pavitra Mitra is also again a senior professor at now IIT Karakpur. He works in core machine learning and some of the application areas. And we have Chetan Arora, who's probably the youngest member, or maybe Preeti is the youngest member. Chetan is a faculty member at uh, IIT Delhi. He also does uh, computer vision. So we have a strong team here, and uh, we've been working on, on formulating both the curriculum as well as this plans for this. So look forward to having students here. Thank Great. you. And just uh, half a minute, there, there would be an effective uh, pedagogy uh, module, which is sort of an orthogonal piece. And uh, I've done this module in IIT Delhi to apply to Delhi. So I'll be doing this as a shorter module on how do you teach effectively some of those techniques. Okay, great. So let me, let me now, uh, I don't know how to get out of, uh, okay. So let me just now uh, thank everyone for, uh, for um, uh, joining this program. So the formal program is now ended. And I would now like to just request the steering committee members to, to stay put for anybody who may have questions, but the formal program is over. So thank you very much. Thank you, first of all, Ranjan for uh, joining and welcoming. Thank you, Devjani. Thank you, the Professor says good day. Thank you. Pankaj, 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 please give me uh, some 20 seconds. Of course. Sure. <laughs> So, so I already spoke, but uh, you know I uh, thank both you and Ranjan Bose. You know both were former as present. You know Triple IT Delhi directors who have helped us in making it happen. And I was just seeing the list of experts. You know each group, each subject who have been dealing with that. And I just approximately calculated the experience. It is about two thousand man years of experience which is get, getting put into it. I think what a great empowerment movement for Indian education in computer science. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I can also add a word appropriate here. Appropriate uh, words to appropriate words to end the formal session. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Steering can, uh, members, please stay on. Anybody who wants to ask questions, please stay. Pankaj Jain wants to say something. No, I just wanted to please kind of end on a lighter vein that not many here might know that Pankaj is actually a very experienced marathon runner. Yes. Half Despite being the director of Triple IT D, he used to run half marathons and full marathons, which most of us can't do. So I'm sure he has the stamina to take this program through to a successful closure. Yeah, yeah we should get Chandra also from TCA at uh, Tata yeah. Sons because he has ran marathons in different countries of the world. Yes, yes. Not, yes. not ran, he continues to run. He continues yeah, that's what he continues to run, to run at this <laughs> age. Full and marathons all over the globe, actually. He sponsors them. He, the, 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 the Mumbai Marathon is sponsored by them now. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Run only half marathons. But in any case, great. Okay. All right, again, Bye. thanks, everyone. Thank you very much, Pankaj, and all the best. Okay, thank you very right. much. Okay, as I said, those who want to stay, stay. Steering committee members, I request you to kindly stay. And other members, if you have a question, please type in. We'll be here for another 10, 15 minutes. Or whenever, uh, you know, if there are no questions, then we'll call it a day. Okay, please, anybody wants to ask a question, please type it in. Um, uh, we can request, uh, or if you type it in, I will request the IT team to also give you the mic in case needed, but that will take some time. Best is to type it in. Um, there are some questions on the chat that have been answered. I think uh, there's a who wanted to ask a question uh, uh, verbally. Uh, I think all the others we have been trying to answer um, on the, uh, the, on the 
that. There are some questions about details, uh, Pankaj. Uh, maybe we can address some of them here. Uh, I know some of them we're going to uh, ask, uh, uh, address over the course of time, but people wanted to have a sense of uh, the details of the courses and the, um, the, the duration, okay. first and last days of registration. So details and dates, I think, are some things that we can talk okay. about. Good so, point, good point. We should do that. So details about the module on effective teaching of a subject. Uh, please hold on. It will come perhaps uh, in the middle of November. The reason being the same expert team is first designing the module for AICT. So let's say databases, the database module, which all colleges will want to adopt, that is being designed and then they will use that as the basis and that should happen end of this month. And that will be the basis for designing the module effective teaching of databases. So that will come middle of, middle of November, most probably. We will announce, so our goal to start the program of a certificate program is January. Most likely we'll start second week or January or so, so people have the, and it will, uh, you know, so everyone is back in, in their colleges and it will last for about 12 to 13, 14 weeks. So it is essentially aligned to the semester. As has been declared, each module will meet once a week, most probably, for uh, for 30 to 5 is 36 something like that in the evening we'll meet once a week where the experts will give the share the give a lecture share an experience and most likely most of the modules will have one help session because some work will be as given to you to practice to learn, to to do things and some there would be one help session which will be conducted by the TAs. i hope that explains so the modules themselves January to April uh, end, and the uh, details about the modules will get up, uh, put up around November. Registration will also probably open around registration. Uh, regist uh, PJN, you wanted to add? No, yeah, there is a question on the, you know, there are a bunch of questions on the chat. Maybe you want to uh, clarify. I'll just summarize the, the, the concern. Is it open to teachers of AICT approved engineering colleges only? Is it approved, is it open only to teachers? you know or or uh, how many how many courses can you take at a time and that that kind of question maybe you can clarify that okay so some of you first of all it is open for teachers of anywhere okay. aict you know that's uh, aict is uh, is very kindly agreed to help us but it is completely it says private public everything right we are concerned with teaching students learn everywhere and we want to be this thing, right so that's number one what was the other thing? Uh, how how many courses can you take at a time? I mean, these are these, yeah. All right, all right. We haven't yet decided, but we would like uh, like to suggest. Look, it is your absorption. We want to focus on teachers who have been teaching those courses or who are required to teach the courses. So please focus on the course that you have been teaching or you have been assigned to teach or you want to teach in the next two three years. And so I would say, and the, the effort required is about five hours per week per course. So you can decide how much. So clearly, if you're a teacher, anything more than one or two would be too much because you have to do your own job of teaching, et cetera. We haven't yet built a policy. We may do so later on. But I think anything more than one or two, please don't try. It just, especially if you're an existing teacher because you have your teaching duty. And urge you not to take it lightly, just to attend, uh, sign off, get a certificate. Please, we are putting a very serious effort in so you can really truly improve your learning and feel good about your teaching. Feel good that students learn from you. They respect you for your knowledge and for what you do. So take each module seriously. We are requesting five hours of work. Hey, put in a little bit more. <laughs> can teachers of other than CSE, teachers who teach other than CSE, can they join? Great. We had discussed that explicitly. So I am empowered to give the answer on behalf of the steering committee. We have said, if you're teaching these courses or if you have to teach that courses, you are on. We don't care if you have a computer science degree or some other degree. The main thing is you ought to be involved in teaching whatever subject you want to learn effective teaching of. So that's correct. correct. Any other questions, Viraj? You see, there's a question about uh, this was asked earlier. Uh, if you're a member of ACM, is there any 
benefit. Uh, okay, Viraj, maybe you can answer that. As far as I know, ACM has not put any restriction of membership on the scholarship they'll give. Is that correct? Absolutely correct. Yeah, there is no uh, there, is, there is no restriction that the uh, that the scholarship is restricted only to. Um, but but Viraj, you can you can market ACM anyway. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Of course, there are many benefits, but uh, to this, but uh, this is absolutely open to everyone. And just to clarify, there was a question about you know what are the completion, what what are the criteria for completion. So each module has its own certificate. Uh, so you know if you re register for two modules, that's two uh, certificates, and each module the instructors will define their own um, uh, completion criteria criteria for successfully completing. So certificates are given at the end of successful completion. As uh, Professor Gelote mentioned, uh, please don't just sign up for the sake of signing up. You have to complete the certificate. There will be some assessments involved. And in fact, we should add, I think, uh, please, can you clarify what ACM has said, that it's only on successful completion that they get the half, half uh, refunded. Is that correct? Uh, uh, Professor Jain announced that uh, as long as you're registered prior to um, the Oh, prior March. to uh, prior March thirty first. Right, right, right. First. Okay. Is uh, this this course uh, allows us uh, to teach courses in colleges after getting certificates? Um, uh, that's not for us to say. We are just helping you become a better teacher. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Better teacher of a subject X. So again, Professor Chakravarti has just asked this question, but okay, uh, the focus of the core, course is... Uh, we'll focus on content. Okay, please look at it. We're saying it is not just lectures. The faculty who are teaching, the experts who are teaching will help you uh, design assignments, will give share assignments, will help you design projects, will share some projects. So we're making, the, taking a completely holistic view the way we teach. We just don't give lectures, we give assignments, we give exams, we give projects. So that's what we are trying to share with you. Of course, you will get lecture, uh, you know, material and all that other stuff. But please think of it as a holistic exercise, not just lecturing. But every lecture has to, all of us teachers know, lecture has to be supported by assignments, projects, etc., for good learning to happen. Uh, enrolling for the course, we will announce it somewhere in November, we'll open, open for it. It will be online. For scholarship, uh, Viraj, can you answer what is the enrolling for scholarship? Yeah, we'll... I, I, just, I just put the response. Okay. Yeah. So will we have a form on ACM for enrolling? Yes. Or... As I said, once, once we are doing the uh, opening it up, we will have that mm -hmm. process. Okay, great. So if there's nothing more, we can all go off for our late, late lunch or very delayed lunch. Please, there is already email uh, contacts given at the bottom of our uh, web page. So, so, have, so have, have you organized lunch, Pankaj? Huh? Have you organized lunch for us? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to take at lunch your at home. your respective homes. At your home, I've organized ah, it. Your home. And, and for you, Jain, I can tell you, uh, you know, Madhu has organized it on my behalf. ہمیں <laughs> 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 Uh, so please send your inputs to contact or admin for any other clarifications you may see. And uh, okay. Okay, all the best. Thanks everyone for joining. Thank Have you. Bye.